All right. Hey, everybody. Here we go. Another episode of In the Corner with the Corner Man, Ryan the Mighty Quinn, and my main man, Tiago Pitbull Alves. How you doing? Doing good, my brother. Oh, my God. Thanks let for having me, me. Let me give you the proper you welcome. Let me give you the proper introduction. Former UFC contender, always in the top 10, top 15, BKF, B, B, uh, BKB world champion. Congratulations, man. I know it's been a while. I haven't seen you since that happened. So, um, Real quick, though, Thanks, you know, um, I want to point out here, you know, as I said, we were talking about, uh, where is it? Right there. That's my favorite picture of us. Actually, <laughs> actually I, oh, here, here's a better one. I remember that session. That was you, me, and George were cage wrestling. And that yep. was kind of like, I think Brownie had just started, um, he just started going full time into coaching. And then, you know, and then within the next year or so, we all went into coaching. So, but, yeah. um, so. And what a, and what a phenomenal coach. Mike oh, Crowley, yeah man. yeah he's just you know I, I had him on here once and like you know i just remember watching with him and i'm sure you can remember like 10 12 years ago like he just loved picking apart mixed martial arts moves like he just yeah oh, look at that let's play with that at the gym on monday you know watching ufc he just loved it like like yes this is our life but he just loves the the puzzle to it you know like it's it's yeah. it was great it makes sense that he became such a great coach and yourself, you know, like you too, like you were always so helpful. You were so helpful in my career. So many young fighters, uh, up and coming fighters. You just knew how to mix up. And like, I think that mixed martial arts of all sports. And I wanted to save this for the second half, but you know, we're gonna get into it now. But I think mixed martial arts of all sports, it really takes humility to learn because you got to step outside your comfort zone in so many areas. Yeah. And you're someone who's willing to do that. It showed throughout your career. Um, like you were almost like one of the first fighters in the mainstream era where. You were able to undo a little bit of yourself and learn wrestling both defensively and offensively to make you a complete fighter. Like, what do you think about that? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, that's that's the game. You know, you got to, first of all, I think for you to be, you know, successful in anything, you got to have no ego. When you have no ego, you're always in a position, you know, to learn and, and, and become better. Um, and yeah, I mean, you got involved with the game. Uh, you know, uh, as you know, the game, since we started to what it is now, you know, it involved tremendously. And uh, I think I was part of the, probably the coolest time in, in MMA, the golden era, you know, the 2007 to like 2012-ish. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, and that's when you see like real athletes coming in, and you know, people, their fighters, they're complete, uh, know a little bit about everything. Uh, today, they know a lot about everything. But yeah, it's definitely something that if you want to be successful, you got to have no ego, you got to be dedicated, you got to be willing to involve constantly. Absolutely. Perfect. You hit the nail on the head. Now, you've been coaching for like two, three years. You know, I, you're still competing, but you've really been coaching a lot like the last two, three years. So, correct? correct. Yeah, I, I started as a part time coach. You know what I like about the process that we have an American top team. Uh, we don't I mean, some guys get hired you know, right away and then they join in full time because I was competing already. Uh, I was competing still and representing ATT. Uh, for me, it was easy to start as a part-time coach and you know i had the, the opportunity to work with phenomenal coaches like mike brown steve moko katel kubis you know and get to learn a little bit from all of them and then create my own uh coaching style so since um mid of last year that's when i i started uh full-time as a coach so yeah. i've been coaching for about uh, uh five six years now but full-time coach probably about a year yeah you know it's funny it's it's so easy to blend i know because so many times we'll be helping each other and we'll be in each other's corner and you know yes we're drilling that and i'm coaching but i'm not you know like we're training and we're, we're trading off um now becoming a coach do, do you feel that that's helped you as a fighter that's helped you progress as a fighter through that whole process absolutely i mean once you uh, become a coach you have to break down techniques so you can explain make sure that your athletes they get it and it uh, definitely uh, makes you have a better understanding of the game, a uh, better understanding when to use the technique or, or, or what not to do, you know, in any situation. Mm -hmm. So it definitely made me a better coach. It also made me a better, uh, uh, definitely made me a better fighter, you know, and, and, and mentally also, not just secondly, but mentally, because I see all the struggles that I used to go through during, you know, training camp, during fight week. And I see that all of my guys go through the same thing. So uh, uh, at the same time, you're not so, special you know you are special but your problems are not so unique so yeah. that makes you uh, understand a little bit better and do what you need to do to be done to make sure you're always at your best you know mentally and physically 
Absolutely. Yeah. I remember when I started coaching more and getting more into in the amateurs, like, oh, you just you just see it from a different angle. Like that's the best way to put yeah. it. You can see it from a different angle. And it just helps you break it down. Like you said, it helps you um translate it to 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 the fighters and everything. And also like dealing with other personalities. Like um, you know, you may, you can't tell this person the same message that you well, you could relay the same message, but not with the same uh voice, you know. Yeah. Um I'm not even talking English and Portuguese. I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking, <laughs> with people, you know, so I'm kidding. But, uh, but yeah, and it just helps you just rethink things and how to process it out. So another reason why I want to have you on here too, you know, obviously, you know, when I first started this, you were one of the main people I want to have on, you know, you and I have been boys for a long time, but uh, your social media has been active lately. So tell us what you got going on. Cause I know you're looking to compete again soon. Yeah, so uh, uh, hopefully I get, you know, a, a fight uh, uh, signed probably by the end of this month. You know, I don't know exactly when I'll be competing again. Uh, I'm looking maybe to defend my belt, uh, uh, BKFC. If not BKFC, you know, we have options. We have Thriller uh, coming up or Ego FC. So we got plan, plan A, B, and C just to make sure that, you know, we stay active. Uh, you know, I, I know I'm towards the end of my career, but I feel phenomenal right now. I mean, all the... Uh, my physicality is still there, you know, and I'm I'm a lot more mature on this in the game a lot a lot better than I used to. So we're excited, man. We're excited to see, you know, uh, uh, how this uh, end of the month ends and what news we're gonna get. But we're definitely competing uh, uh, twice, you know, this year for sure. I love it, man. When when you first said that you were entering back into mixed martial arts, like just from what we've we just discussed. I can't wait to see you fight again, just because I just, I want to see that development mentally that we just spoke about. I know it's there and I can't wait to see you put it in process. It's something that I think about all the time, but I would want to see that process for me coaching and stuff like that. So I'm excited about you going back in mixed martial arts, if that's the case, Thanks, man. but, but yeah, with BKFC, you know, BKB, it keeps saying BKF. Well, I guess it's BKFC. Um, uh, yeah. And uh, I, I, I'm having a, a real fun time watching that too. You know, I think that, you know, with, with um, bare knuckle boxing, a lot of people thought that, and I spoke about this with Jorge, you know, a lot of people thought that was a fad. You know, like, like you know what? Everyone thought MMA was a fad too and it was going to die out. And look, it's like taking over extreme sports. So I think BKB is going to be around for a while. Uh, so I, I, I'm glad that people like you, they're building around it and everything like that. Um, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, dude, it's the fastest growing sport, you know, since uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know if you have a chance to be in one of the shows uh, or not, but it's a super fun night of fights. You know, every fight is very competitive. They don't take as long as an MMA fight. Uh, you can probably wrap <laughs> out a fight uh, within between like 50 to 20 minutes tops. And, you know, if you go to a BKFC show, they keep uh, a fast pace. So it's one fight after another. Uh, super exciting, you know, where everybody has a, 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 punch, in, a punch chance, you know, yeah. once you get in there. So, uh, uh, yeah, dude, I, I love everything about it. You know, it's not as uh, damaging to your body, especially training camps, especially getting ready for when you have to focus on just one thing. You know, it's a lot easier. Uh, yeah. I'm having a lot of fun. You know, for me, it was mainly the challenge of, mm -hmm. you know, being a part of something that is brand new, uh, uh, kind of like when I got into MMA in a way, uh, help, you know, uh, bring more awareness to it. And uh, at the same time, you know, the money didn't hurt. But uh, mainly the challenge, you know, the challenge to, to do something new, to be uh, great at something that, you know, it's pretty bright ass. I mean, it, it's super competitive. It's two arms against two arms. And I, I don't care who you're fighting against. Uh, it's going to be competitive. Yeah. But at the same time, it's it's super exciting. It's savage as hell. You know, you're going to get bloody. You're going to get stitches in your face. It's just how it is. And uh, but, you know, it doesn't really change much from, you know, once you're in a fight, you're in a fight. Uh, we've been competing for a very long time. We know what to do. You know, we know what, what it needs to be done to make sure you're successful uh, once you're in there. And uh, yeah, it's been fun, man. I, I think it's just the beginning. I think BK, BKFC is going to uh, grow tremendously. Uh, you know, they're doing the right things. And uh, hopefully they can make this fight happen against uh, Mike Perry. I think there'll be a, a good fight where I see everybody, you know, would like to watch. And oh, yeah. uh, we can definitely bring that fight, you know, bring the company to to the mainstream. You know, with yeah, a, a big fight profile like that. I forgot that was the name being tossed around, and that's that is an exciting fight. You know, oh, dude, he like he likes to swat. You know, you're always game to swat, and you're staying in the pocket. Um, it's bad. boom. You know, it's it's like a collision course. Um, uh, what was I gonna add off that? You know, um, it's it's two minute rounds, right? Two minute two minute rounds. 
Yeah, it's five rounds of two minute rounds, one minute rest. So the yes. total fight is ten minutes. Yeah, that's a long two minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a sprint. It's yeah, a two minute yeah. sprint. So, uh, all right, we got we we know what's going on now with the with the competing aspect. Who you been working with? Uh, any big fights coming up as far as coaching? Who you, who you uh, with? We just had a phenomenal uh, uh, last weekend, you know, at Bellator. Uh, yeah, all of yeah. three fighters uh, uh, went three and zero. Oh. Uh, uh two knockouts and one decision you know johnny it's in a, a a good spot right now he might be fighting for the belt next against you know musasa which is a legend in the sport and our champion yeah. at middleweight in bellator so uh yeah and next guy that i'll be cornering will be uh jaco christoph christoph jaco uh he's fighting a april 30th in in uh las vegas so awesome. that'll be uh, uh my next trip as a coach Awesome, man. I'm so happy to see Johnny's development. Just like, you know, he just came in and just sky's the limit with that guy. You know, I know he's yeah. going by the human cheat code now and it's true. Like he's just, he's just doing it all right. You know, and he's yeah. just, yeah. he's a student of the game. I'm just so happy to, to see his success, you know, and uh, I think that's a great fight for him, Musasi. I'm really looking yeah. forward to that if that's what's next with Bellator. Um, Man, and of course, Christoph, you know, he's always been around for a while. You know, it's hard for those international fighters, fighters to come over here and then make a home, here, not only at American Top Team, in the United States as a whole. And uh, he's doing it. He's doing it. He's, uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm real happy for him. So, uh, yeah, he, he's hard to beat, man. He has been, you know, competing very actively against uh, pretty tough guys. And, you know, he, I think he won four his last uh, five fights. And uh, he's in a good position right now. So, not an easy division to do that in. So no, not at all. So, all right. That's basically mostly what I got, man. Um, tell us about some of your sponsors. Who's helping you through the way. Oh yeah. Uh, buy station, a big buy station for about, uh, for almost a decade right now. Wow. And, uh, you know, they're a rejuvenation clinic. Uh, they do a lot of cosmetic, uh, uh, procedures there as well, but you know, it's the place that I go to, you know, get my blood work, make sure everything it's perfect. It's proper, you know, make sure I'm optimized make sure I'm, at my best, you know, in coaching and fighting, uh, mm -hmm. do nutrition. It's another one where, you know, they supply me meals throughout the week. It definitely makes my life a lot easier where, you know, you don't have to cook. You have the high quality meal just waiting for you. But, uh, what I got going on with it's, uh, the most interesting it's live train, live train. It's a online training platform where you'll be able to interact with the best coaches, best fighters in the business. Uh, we have three different uh, sections. We have wrestling, boxing, and MMA. I'm in charge of the MMA uh, uh, side of it. And uh, we, we keep bringing, you know, big name fighters uh, to join the platform. And the beautiful thing about a live train is you have uh, a couple different ways that you can interact with the coaches and the fighters in the platform. Uh, you can either, you know, uh, sign up to do a, a, a conversation just like we're doing right now. You know, it could be a 30 minute to an hour conversation. Uh, you could do a training session where, you know, the coach will put you through a, a workout uh, we can do technique breakdowns, you know, where you have some uh, uh, difficulties, some positions that, uh, uh, you know, uh, we have many coaches that can help you, you know, uh, clarify whatever doubts you have. And also uh, a video study. If you have a, a fighter that has, if you're a coach, you have a fighter want to get a second opinion, you know, on what to do against your next opponent, uh, you can, you know, line up, uh, sign up and uh, talk to one of our, our coaches and uh, fighters in the platform. So it's a brand new concept. Uh, it's growing a lot. We have a lot of uh, great people behind us, Dana White supporting us. Uh, we have a few uh, Hollywood actors uh, that are supporting us. And my goal when I joined the company was to be able to give it back to the MMA community mm -hmm. uh, in a way where, you know, it's being a, a, a being a professional fighter, especially an MMA fighter, it's, it's a tough lifestyle, you know, mm -hmm. especially if you're not, you know, assigned to a big organization, it's hard to live completely as a professional fighter. So, Having life train uh, on board, it helps you stay focused on martial arts. You know, you can do your training and make a living, you know, outside of uh, fighting just by still involving martial arts with, with life training by coaching, you know, your, your guys online or uh, selling your pre-recorded content. So it's a pretty cool concept that I got approached about uh, a year ago and we just live, we just went live in February and we got a lot of good uh, feedback. So we're excited. Uh, I know it's a, uh, it's just the beginning, and uh, we're going to keep growing, growing. Hopefully, you know, we'll have Life Train as an app in everybody's home very soon. I, I love uh, – I actually just was watching some stuff on Live Train uh, a little while ago, and it is a great concept. It is absolutely – everyone needs to take advantage of that. Even if you're just a fan of the sport, 
you need there's stuff that the casuals need to learn you drive people like myself crazy <laughs> and yeah. you can look at that and you can see where they're coming from with um uh with with the techniques and everything like that why they're not punching why they're not taking down why they are taking down instead of punching live train does a great job of explaining that with people like yourself and uh you actually i was going to wrap it up but you just hit something in the head helping the next generation that was yeah. something when i was coaching the amateurs i was so big on like because you know first of all especially with the amateurs they're not all going to make it as professional athletes i me personally i only had a short window where i could live off of fighting it was maybe a year and a half two years um i had to learn how to make that supplemental income like income like you said and one thing i try to tell fighters like fighting does so much for your resume as a human you know you got to push you got to learn how to sell tickets you got sales you got to push yourself more sales for endorsements contract negotiations yeah. um you know i mean the, the writing's on the wall with the physical training and everything like that how many times do we get hit up, hit up for all these different skills so yeah. young fighters please take advantage of stuff like that stuff like coach pitbull coach tiago Alves, you know everyone on live training i'm all about it so uh, that's really all I got today, my man. Thank you so much for awesome, coming man. on. Thanks for talking. Um, if you ever always, need a man, training always. partner, please give me a call. You'd be doing me a favor to, as, as being a I'll definitely hit you up, man. Yeah. I'll definitely hit you up, bro. You know, uh, we always uh, got very long in training sessions and outside of the, the training uh, sessions of, uh, as yeah. well. So, yeah, brother, looking forward to it. Awesome. Pitbull, thank you so much, man. Everybody, Tiago Alves, world champion, BKB. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah.